First, a new form of internet extortion is scaring victims into handing over a lot of money. It is a threat to shame and embarrass people online, and cybersecurity experts say it's happening more and more here in North Texas. J.D. Miles is live for us in Dallas with the concerns that some victims might go to extremes if they're targeted by this. J.D.? Ken, would you want your internet searches showing up on a giant video wall like this one? A new cybersecurity scam threatens to expose everything you view online. It shows up in your email, claiming to have set up malware on the adult video or porn sites you visit online, with a threat to send proof of it to 15 of your contacts through Facebook and email, unless $2,900 is paid to the hacker. I had a, uh, a person call me yesterday, actually a neighbor, who got one of these emails and was a little freaked out by it. Cybersecurity attorney Sean Tuma tells us the hackers behind the latest online extortion scam are likely bluffing, but the impact on victims who believe it could be more than just financially harmful. Hits that fear button. Dallas counselor Lee Richardson worries that the threat of humiliation is a trigger that can lead to suicide. That could be enough to send you to where you're thinking, I'm so stupid. That was so dumb. If everybody finds out, it'd be easier if I just wasn't even here. The sender of the malware threatens to make what it claims is a double-sided video, one side showing what websites you visit, the other side supposedly showing your webcam recording what you're watching. The threat here is the same we saw with Ashley Madison, which is where they use fear of embarrassment and humiliation publicly with you, with your family, with your colleagues. And, and that's why we saw, after Ashley Madison, people committing suicide. Mm -hmm. We've heard about some local college students receiving this email. If you get this extortion phishing email in a text message or an email, experts say to delete it and don't click on anything related to it. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.